Hello everybody and welcome to uh, World of Tanks replay. Today will be a Leopard 1 replay on Karkot. Uh, I'm in the Leopard 1. Uh, very good tank. So, it is a very nice tank. Um, you know, accurate, great DPM. So anything that you could ask for. Uh, so basically, you know, it's got better DPM than a lot of the medium tanks with the 105. I'm pretty sure it has the best reload of any 105, excluding the 4202 and the STB-1. So, you know, 1950 hit points is pretty good hit point pool. Crew of four, uh, they're pretty good. Good crew. 40 tons. 42, 42 tons, 830 horsepower makes it fairly quick as you can see, uh, it tops out at 65k, 70 downhill, this thing is fast, you will actually see your top speed, your traverse speed is 54 degrees a second, so insane, turret traverse is 36, which is still damn good, uh, armor, none of it, turret armor, none of it, the gun is the L7A3, it carries 60 rounds of ammunition, rolling between 293 and 488 hit points. Um, and it basically it is 6.9 rounds a minute, and it is a very good gun. Um, the accuracy is actually like insane. I'm pretty sure it's like 0.29 or 0.3. It's very good. And you know, when you have 268 pen uh, with normal ammo, it's also extremely effective. Um, you know, 830 horsepower as previously noted, and 750 signal range, because you gotta have that signal range. Um, this is an interesting scenario, because we're scared. Because there are a lot of big tanks, and I don't like this uh, tank on this map, it's not a very good map. Um, okay then, I don't know. T-49 do silly things sometimes, uh, it's okay. This, I didn't do especially good this match, I don't think, but there was quite a bit of teamwork, which made things interesting. Um, we're just waiting for that Conqueror to make his move. So we just give him the old one two and then the E seventy five shows up. Oh <laughs> so sneaky. That was like the sneakiest shot ever. Um we scared him though, so that's okay. Uh twelve hundred damage so far, which is uh I'm happy. Like usually I'm happy to get that in an entire match in this tank on a city map like this. Really don't like city maps in it. Um basically tanker is Oh, that didn't hit, which is sad. But basically, Tanker is the guy that does the fairly aggressive poking. He has some armor, at least. You know, I'm willing to take a shot if we can give the Conqueror the old one too like that, though, because he is fairly dangerous. I want to get him out of the game, and we're both, you know, full health still, basically. So now he takes a hit. Um, I bounce, which sucks. That guy just tracks me, though, which makes me fairly happy. Um, as you can see, there's an E75, so, uh, we kinda gotta go. He misses, which makes game, it, it makes it a good, good thing. Should've shot him inside of the turret there, I wouldn't have took that shot of damage, and I would've pen and killed him. Um, that... I don't know, man. Like, if you're willing to do that to kill me, okay, then, whatever. You win. That <laughs> when E75 shows up, and surprise, surprise, he wants to play chasey, chasey, catchy, catchy, kissy, kissy with Tanker. Uh, so he starts chasing him around. I thought maybe I could shoot through that. Turns out you can't. Um, yeah. So basically, we're trying to get him to 
either chase tanker or back up around by running to the side that I'm on so that I can shoot him. Um, and that probably, you know, stupid house is stupid. Uh, he fires, so we miss. That's the best possible tactic. Miss it. Pro tankers miss. Uh, so he doesn't want to play. But this guy does. So he YOLO's tanker. And then we get him down to one shot. So tanker goes YOLO on him. He then, the E75 then chases our M40 Patton and stares at him uh, and fixates on him and such things as those. So we get Marfrey damage. Then we back up and track him and get free damage. Okay, so now things get interesting. It's 4v3 and they have a Waffentrager. Um, so obviously, you know, if their Waffentrager plays well, we could very well lose this. Um, there's their Waffle. Because I moved in when I did, I saved myself, which was fairly clutch. Now I'm going to load Heat for the E100, because I'm pretty sure he's the next tank that I'm going to be facing. And I need high penetration to deal with him. Uh, I say I'll get the E100, and then I send Tanker off to deal with the Waffle, hopefully. I don't have a shot on him. I do have a shot on the ass end of a E100, though. Uh, so I shoot him, and I scurry away. Uh, I'm pretty sure at this point, this is the game changer right here. Tanker kills the Waffle Trogger, which is huge. Uh, he was the dangerous one. Um, now it's just us versus 183. Uh, we both have enough HP to take a shot of damage. Um, and we both are, you know, we're in good shape, put that way. Uh, this is an interesting choice that I, yeah, as you can see, I switched back to APCR. Because the 215B has side armor that's incredibly weak, and that's what we're going to be shooting at because it is so incredibly weak. Um, so, you know, I'm happy to shoot his side over his front at almost any time. And if I do have to shoot him in the front, pen is going to be irrelevant. Uh, so we, he bounces my side, which is interesting. Tanker misses. We still would have won this, regardless of whether or not that penned. Um, it just means that I can play a little more aggressively. So I track him. Tanker finishes him, gets his top gun. So there you go, guys. 5k. Tanker did 5k. That was a pretty good replay if I, uh, if I had to say so myself. So, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave a rating, comment, or even subscribe if you want to see more of this. Uh, lots more uh, replays to come. I'm recording, like, four more right now. Uh, I got a big folder of them pre-recorded. I'm going to start uploading them. So I'd appreciate that. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you later.